everybody, it's Dee. I'm here with the third set of Hinkler publications of little books and cards that I have. I think this is the last set that I am aware of anyway that's out right now. I think they do have a, oh, I forget what it's called. There is another one, but it's not the same format. It's a little bit different, but anyway, and it's not available here where I am. Probably can get it online, but anyway, this is called Power of the Chakras. This one is. So it includes a 64 page book and 50 wisdom and uh, 50 wisdom cards and a chakra wall chart. If I could talk. <laughs> All right. This one looks really interesting. Like I'm super excited about this one. I was super excited about the other two, but I don't know. We'll see. So open this bad boy up. Right away, I can see the wall chart. Let's check this out. It's kind of like a... This is pretty cool. Nice. So it just goes through the seven chakras. Sorry, I hit my camera. This is very nice. You could hang this on the wall. It is called a wall hanging after all, right? I like it. I dig it. It's cool. All right, so there's a little poster. We'll call it a poster. I mean, let's call it what it is. <laughs> wall hanging is a very fancy word. Ooh, those came out way easier than the other ones. The other sets were really hard. I had to torn it a little bit. All right, and all of these seem kind of like... Like they... <laughs> The boxes are kind of jacked up, <laughs> but anyway. All right, let's look at the book. Power of Chakras. I like the imagery. And I think all of the imagery for this, for all three of these books was from uh, like a stock photo company it said on, in the book, so that's interesting. Yeah, like the same photos in some of the, in the other two. <laughs> So it just tells you what are chakras. A nice little picture there. The inner energy of the seven chakras. Oh, that reminds me of home. Nice picture. And then it starts going through the chakra. It has a picture of the card, I'm assuming, right on it, which is kind of... Mm, I don't know if I like that. That's a little redundant for me, I guess. So you don't need the cards if you just want to have the book. But it's like, mm, I'd like the book to have utilized the space more efficiently than just being repetitive. But we'll see. I'm just guessing right now that those are what the cards are going to say. So it gives you a, a page on each. Well, this much. It's not really a page. Whole page. And then a picture. Oh, I was super excited. I was. I mean, it's still good. Don't get me wrong. It's still good. But there's so much things on the chakra. Okay, so these are just general blurbs about them, right? And then it goes into the minor chakras, chakra in the hands. Again, another full picture without anything. I don't like that. The chakras in our personal growth. Second chakra, pleasures, desires, and creations. Third chakra, relating to the world around us. Fourth and fifth. Sixth and seventh. And then what's next? Chakras and Kundalini, the secret goddess Kundalini. Small blurb about that. Healing with chakras. Kind of goes into the exact areas of the body that the chakras are work with or affect. The flow of energy through the chakras. That's a pretty good little blurb. Focusing on balance. Strengthening the physical body. 
sacral chakra exercises. That's interesting. Don't worry about dancing in a particular style. Just let your body do whatever it feels like. Nice. Agree. <laughs> Solar plexus chakra exercises. That's what it says right there. The cat exercise. Kind of like yoga poses. Heart chakra exercises. Sad that one wasn't bigger. That's a very important chakra. All of these are actually. Throat chakra. Self massage exercise. See, that's kind of sad because this one for heart didn't have an exercise. Got all this empty dead space right here, people. Come on. Oh, I'm sad. <laughs> that's okay. Crown chakra. Taking care of your emotional and mental health. Nice. Seeking the help of a professional counselor, psychotherapist, psychologist can help you gain clarity in the areas of your life that are stressing you and causing you to feel it ill at ease. Feel ill at ease. Mm. Harnessing the power of the chakras. Again, waste of space to me because it's just a whole page with a picture. I mean, you get the book and you're like, oh, this is the thickest book out of the three. Well, yeah, because it's all just stock photos. Focusing on the sacral chakra and a little exercise. Week three. Oh, oh, I missed something. Okay, so this is a weekly thing you can do. Week one, week two. I guess there's a chakra for each week you run through. Each day of the week you do each exercise. Yep, week four, week five, heart and throat. Week six, eye chakra, seven, crown chakra, very small, very small. Um, blurb and a little mantra, I release all thoughts and actions that limit my self-awareness. I acknowledge that I have unlimited potential and that I have access to all knowledge without any need to change. I am who I am, unique and perfect. Amen. <laughs> chakras and sound <laughs> the sound of the chakras oh that's neat i like that right Ooh, like the sound of wow that's interesting ah uh, like door so uh, uh. Hmm. i'll take practice to get those sounds right it's good for uh meditating really good to breathe too when you're when you make the sounds you're breathing out that's a good exercise to do toning and the chakras chakra balance toning exercise i don't have any natural light coming through my window right now because it's raining chakra exercises and meditations a little bit more and i guess this tells you who made this stuff uh, or or like that's confusing i'll have to read what that is breathing visual visualization meditation with crystals nice okay this is really nice it tells you stones and crystals that you can use to help with each chakra very nice how to use the wisdom cards. Okay. And again, more pictures of the actual cards, which I feel like is, why do I need the cards? You know, I have it in the book. Oh, dang. All right, let's just see. And again, a little thing, a little, oops, sorry, a little chart, just like the book had. How to use the cards. All right, so they are color coordinated. Here's what the backs look like, just like the image on the box itself. Really hoping my camera's focusing on this. First chakra, and so this just goes through. Um, each chakra has a different color. 
the color associated with that shock chakra matches. This is a lot of uh, reading, so I'm not going to read each one. Let's see. <sighs> Patience. As I observe in nature, growth takes time. So these are what I would consider like oracle cards, basically. Whatever chakra you're working with. I didn't read the instructions. This is just what I would do without reading them. <laughs> Whatever chakra you're working with that week you would pull a card or if you're feeling like, okay, which one should I work with or which one needs work? Which one is vibrant? What am I vibrating low on? Um, then you would go and you would pick a card, right? And then you would just see, see what you get. And then it'll tell you, you know, independence, responsibility, building a strong foundation. Same with the sacral or, or I'm sorry, same with this, each additional chakra. I'm a mentor, not mentor, not a rescuer. Yes, I'm going to read this. <laughs> I avoid continually sacrificing my own happiness for others by rescuing and enabling them, as doing this may hinder personal, personal growth for the both of us. I choose not to be a martyr. I am a mentor, not a rescuer. I do not assume that everyone wants my opinions. Ooh, my hand is shaking. And solutions to their life challenges. And if I am in doubt, I will ask them, I take responsibility for my own happiness. I feel like this is really blurry right now. There we go. Hello. <laughs> so we're all of these blurry crap. Hola. So sexuality, sensuality, building a strong foundation, responsibility, independence, patience, self-sufficiency, Let's read one from each one because I don't, it's just a lot of reading. Here we go. Let's read patience as I find I need that more lately. Oh, deep breath. As I observe in nature, growth takes time. This is a time for reflection, persistence, and surrender as things unfold at their own pace. I remain calm and tolerant during my challenging times. I develop quiet, quiet hope and expectations based on trust both in myself and in a higher power. Yes. All right. And then on this one, I just read that one. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm not a, I am not a rescuer. Let's see. Well-being. Let's go to the solar plexus. Let's see. Self-worth, self-esteem, self-discipline, self-confidence. Let's read personal power. I feel like a lot of us need to know, need a mantra on that. I choose to be myself and to express my truth. I have a positive influence on the people and the situations around me. I allow my integrity and confidence to shine, which insist, no, instills more confidence and belief in myself and then encourages others to have natural confidence in me. I do not allow my personal power to become egotistical manipulative or exploitive boom the warrior i embrace my inner strength power and resilience and i allow myself to shine i unfold my potential as an unpowered person with a true sense of who i am i grow to consciousness as I overcome and transcend life's challenges. I need the warrior inside of me for the journey ahead, and I am a courageous in moving forward. Interesting. Heart chakra. This is the one I feel like in the book it didn't really give enough time to. So let's see how the cards are. Compassion, forgiveness, acceptance of self. Peace, unconditional love, radiant warmth and sincerity. I feel like there's hardly any cards on this at all. Why? Why, people? Okay. It's time. This is acceptance of self. It's time to rejuvenate myself by giving myself love. I accept myself the way I am. And I remind myself that I cannot feel any better about life than how I feel about myself. I will not wait a moment longer to accept myself. I honor what my body is asking for, and I'm if I'm unsure, I will ask myself, what can I do to be healthier and more balanced than I am now? I dwell upon all that is right in my life, not what is wrong, and I have gratitude. 
I accept my life as it is now, and I move forward from here. So that's good, but why? Why are there hardly any cards for this one? I feel like heart chakra, chakra, chakra is more deserving of more cards. Uh, yeah. Yeah. But anyway. Throat. Setting boundaries. Here we go for fifth chakra throat. I teach others how to love and respect me by how I love and respect myself. That is like so true. We teach others how to treat us. So yes, my integrity is su supported when I express my thoughts and feelings. I am aware of excessively wanting to please others. I will maintain and grow my personal power by saying yes when I mean yes and by saying no when I mean to say no. I speak up for myself and I set boundaries regarding other people's behavior. I do this by asking for what I do want, such as respect, patience, tolerance, and support, rather than telling them what I don't want. And this is a good one. This matches exactly what my re weekly read was this week. We need to stick up for ourselves. We're usually sticking up for other people or we don't have a problem doing that. We're kind of outspoken in that area, but we rarely do it for ourselves. Yeah. That's a good one. All right. Sixth chakra, third eye. Acknowledge spirit, wisdom and discernment, intuitive perception. I think a lot of um, people that I come in contact are confused about the word intuitive, which that could be a whole video in itself. So I'm not going to get into it. But let's see what this says. I know that what my intuitive sense tells me are true. I open myself to the truth that is within and around me and I know that it is there for me to receive I practice developing my intuition and I know that it is a major aspect of who I am in the stillness and silence of meditation and contemplation I will experience and know the truth so yeah nah, nah, I didn't like it <laughs> it's not wrong you should be doing that not questioning yourself but there's more to it than that but I guess these are just kind of like small things that you can begin to work on. Inner knowing. I trust my inner knowing and I am at peace with myself. I create more moments of stillness and silence and I listen for the truth. I am open to connecting with the listening and listening to my gut and my heart's feelings. And I don't override them with my mind's logic. I practice meditation, prayer, and contemplation. Uh, I feel like intuition and inner knowing are different and they kind of use the same idea. So I don't like that. Divine intervention. We're into the crown now. Grace. One with all. Selflessness. Bliss. Spiritual awareness. Meditation. Science. Blah. Okay. So I'm pretty disappointed in this actual set. Um, dang. But it's okay. It was $6.24. Listed price was $7.99. I don't feel like it's not worth $6. I just had higher expectations, let's say. Um, and that's okay. I mean, not everything is for everyone. You know, someone else might get this set and think this is amazing and that it works for them. And I will try to work with the set and see there are things from it that I'm sure will work for me. I mean, I'm not going to say that it's all not good. It's good. It's good. It's just not what I was. It's not everything that I wanted it to be, <laughs> but that's life and we have to accept it. Right. All right, guys. So hopefully you found this, um, little thing, very informational and yeah, I will see you all in another video. Peace and progress.